Welcome to Flatlanders RV Travels. We're going to take you around today and show you Manatee Hammock Campground along US-1 in Titusville, Florida. If you come in, you're going to see the office off to the right there. You just need to stop there and um, get registered. And then we went off to the right. We're going to show you where the dumpsters are at. They're kind of hidden. Um, we had a hard time finding them, but they, there they are. They're up towards the front of the park near the office. And we're going to show you sites 1 through 52 next here. This park was acquired by Brevard County in 1993 through the Trust for Public Land, so it is a county park. We're just gonna come to the end of the street here and I'm just gonna turn around and go back the same direction that um, we just came from, just so you can get a better idea of what the um, campsites are like. This campground is 26.45 acres and is located along the shores of the Indian River and it's very well shaded by the oaks, pines, and palm trees, as you can see. We're going to come to the end of the street here and I'm going to turn around so then you will be able to see the um, campsites along the left hand side now and just to kind of give you reference of where we're at in the park um, we're heading we're headed back up towards the front of the park. We're making our way back up by the entrance of the park and at the stop sign we're going to go to the right and we're going to show you sites 53 through 64 along the right hand side and I have um, periodically have put site numbers on the left hand side so you can kind of get an idea. This park has 163 RV sites with water, electric, and sewer, and 19 campsites with water and electric. And there is also a group tenting camping area. This particular street that we are on is kind of a main road that gets back to, um, towards the river. There is a dump station off there on the left.
This next area we're going to show you is the um, area along the river. There is, um, you're going to see as we come up a volleyball court there in the grass. See off the left, straight ahead. Um, they do have a 97 foot fishing pier. You can fish off the pier and along the shore. This has a superb view of the rocket launches at the Kennedy Space Center. That is the bridge that you take over to get to the Kennedy Space Center and the Kennedy Space Center is right there. And they have a huge dog park over there in the green fenced in area as well. And we're just going to continue on with the tour. Off on the left hand side, you can't really see it too well, is the, I believe, like the group tenting area or just the tenting area in general. Site 160 right there on the corner on the right hand side is an excellent campsite. You have a nice view of the river. It's uh, very spacious. There is a shower house off to the right hand side. And the sites on the right hand side are all pull through sites. And there's another um, shot of the dump station. And this street is kind of, um, there wasn't a, a lot of campers back in this section right here, but when there was campers, it was a little confusing. The street does continue on and goes between site 68 and the shower house. Um, but when there's campers back here, it gets kind of confusing. There were people actually blocking the street off, so you couldn't actually get through. But it's pretty tight back in here, uh, site 69 and 70. But the sites off on the left hand side, they're pull through um, sites and very spacious. I believe it's site 65 through 68. And site 162 coming up here, there um, is a propane uh, tank that, that is right on your site. And they're a little cramped with the uh, site right next to it. And we're just going to come to the end of this road again and um, going to turn around and go back the same way that we just came from. Those are all seasonal sites on the left hand side. Now the sites on the left hand side you cannot see very well but they are more or less like um, for small rigs and um, tent camping. Again these are all seasonal sites on the left hand side. we're going to come to the end of this road and turn around so you can get a better idea of the sites that are will be on the left hand side.
these sites along here on the left butt up right to the pool. And we were in site 131 right there. These sites along here on the left, those are definitely ten, uh, for tents or a small pop-up. But it was mainly tents that were across the street from us. And this next street, we're gonna come up to the um, recreation hall and where the pool is at and um, the bathrooms and showers, which we will show you shortly. And here's the recreation area on the left. The end of this building right here is the men and women's um, shower house. And that other building right there on the right, straight ahead there, that is a uh, handicap accessible bathrooms. They have shuffleboard and one pickleball court. And then they have the pool, little patio area. There's the shower house. And then this is um, for the handicap accessible bathroom. They have the shower, sink, and toilet in there. And next we're gonna show you the actual bathhouse. I think they have two or three showers. There is a bench and a uh, hook to hang your towels. Bathrooms were a little outdated. However, I do believe they are getting a renovation this year. Coming up, we're gonna show you the laundry room. Um, at the time we were there, it was $2 to wash and $2 to dry. Uh, the machines were a little um, on the outdated side. And this is inside their rec hall. And this was their swimming pool. Kind of on the smaller side um, for the size of the campgrounds, but it was very nice. And we're just going to continue on with the tour. Again, we're going to go to the end here and turn around so you can get a better idea of what the sites are like on the left hand side, which I believe they are all pull through sites, nice and level. Um, they weren't too close to one another. They were close, but not, um, I've seen worse. Some sites along here are a little more spacious than others. And we're making our way back up towards the front of the park, which like I said at the beginning, it run, it's right off a of US-1. So these campsites straight ahead, literally back up to the, um, the highway back there. It's a little more um, traffic noise. And we're back up to the front of the park. You can see the highway, there is a gate. I believe they close that at night.
and we're coming up to the sites on the left hand side are the sites that are right across um, the pull through sites that are across from the recreation area. If you look off the left, you can see the building. I think if we were to go back, we would try and get uh, one of those sites on the left or um, one of the sites that's right next to the um, recreation hall. Well, we're getting to the last part of the tour here. These sites along here, uh, sites 122, 123, 124, very spacious, but like I said, they're closer to the highway where you get a little more of the uh, traffic noise. The farther back from the highway, um, the less you hear the traffic. And we're coming up to our site, which was site 131. Um, when we checked in, they had had a record, record rainfall um, just a few days before we checked in. And it has to be about one of the worst sites we've ever um, encountered as far as um, checking in. It was flooded. Um, we got out of the truck and it, the water was like almost ankle deep in some spots. The people before us left big ruts in the center of the um, campsite and it still was not completely dried out when we left. We were there a week. Um, each day got a little better, but it was just a complete mud pit. So I would not recommend staying um, along those sites there, probably from about our site on back towards the um, river though some of the sites didn't seem quite as bad as ours um, ours it was it was pretty bad and of course they did not have another campsite for us to uh, move to so I would like to add that um, we were able to get over the air TV stations and AT&T phone service worked um, pretty good here well, that about concludes our tour of Manatee Hammock Campground. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. We appreciate your support. As always, everyone, happy camping and thanks for watching.